Hey, wake up. New mythic prediction just dropped for Fire Emblem Heroes. <laughs> I am recording this uh, the night of the 25th because uh, on God, I just forgot about it. Uh, I've had a lot going on and normally when I would do them, uh, I had a friend stay with me over the weekend. So it was the furthest thing from my mind, uh, but I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Uh, I don't think the banner is actually till the 31st, so fingers crossed that this still gives people like a, a couple of days before the trailer comes out uh, to kind of budget appropriately. Because I know, I know that there are a handful of banners out right now that are very tempting. I'm telling you all, it's going to get so much worse, okay? It doesn't really start to get bad until November, and then it doesn't really stop until March is more or less how it feels so uh here's hoping here's hoping that with this banner prediction and then a forecast of the next three months uh maybe i can help you out okay as a veteran player who has been around for a little while uh let me put my old man powers to test here okay so this is who we have returning i think <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, there's a lot to keep track of these days, but I'm, I'm fairly confident that this is who we have coming back this month. Uh, red is pretty open. Blue almost assuredly is where the new mythic is going to be. Uh, and then green and colors are also open. All right. Uh, as far as upcomers goes, this has been updated to include the latest new heroes banner that really only had one non-limited hero on it. <laughs> Which was Mycin. Uh, so I'm... I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. I think their plan to mitigate the normal pool uh, issue is just <laughs> to, make, to make limited heroes for the normal banner too. Uh, I think that's their plan. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is who we have, okay? There's a lot in red. There's a lot in blue. There's a lot in green. Uh, and then colorless exists. You know, I, I was giving colorless some props for a little while because it it was flourishing. It, I had always three to four. It was a steady flow. And now it's getting a little bit dangerous it's getting a little bit dangerous not gonna lie uh but hey that's what it is so uh this this is who we have okay this is whomst we got uh this is what i think the banner is going to look like i think okay let me parse this out and explain a little bit. Uh, blue. Blue is super easy to explain, okay? It has the most relevant high value options condensed into a single color <laughs> to make losing that one in three that much less painful, okay? Uh, <laughs> when you have the newer heroes showing back up on their first or second reruns, Okay, it's almost assuredly a safe bet that that's where your new hero is going to be. They aim to make that color as attractive as possible uh, so that you can pull, which is why I will often give uh, the um, uh, the advice that if, if there is a new legendary or mythic that you're like kind of on the fence about, you don't really care that much, because uh, let's be real, there's over a thousand heroes now, you should only be pulling for characters that you actually like. Uh, meta changes every eight weeks. Okay. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, wait. Just wait for it. Uh, and more than likely, it will color share in its next appearance with a new legend or mythic. Uh, so your one in three, if you're just pulling for catalog or convenience, uh, is now really a two in three. Okay. Because you're going to get something that you don't already have. And so your odds just keep going up. Uh, assuming, of course, you get those colors in that circle. That's its own issue. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think our new mythic is going to be blue. Uh, I will have some thoughts on who that is in a moment. Uh, red. Have you seen anything more hit or miss? 
Uh, so Felix is fine. He's fine. Uh, Felix fans rejoice. He's probably going to show up here. Uh, the issue is that he's also color sharing Fallen Byleth, um, who basically outshined him uh, almost immediately. And then Nana is here, who is a great Earth uh, legendary. Uh, so, you know, that's... We love that. Um, one of these things is not quite like the others, and that's a little unfortunate uh, for Felix. He is the odd duck out here. Uh, but more than likely, he's going to be there. All right? So, you know, if nothing else, it's a balance, I guess. Because, you know, we can't have two really, really good... Uh, red legendary banners back to back, you know, <laughs> that would be insane, right? So, yeah, probably there. Green, don't pull on green. <laughs> Sorry, Citrine fans, uh, don't don't do it. <laughs> For the love of God, don't do it. Uh, it you know, until E Tree gets a remix, I just she's so close to it anyway, <laughs> you know. Like, we're coming up on that within a year. Uh, she will probably be on Banner uh, this time and then maybe two other times before she gets remixed. I, if you're really desperate for a knee tree, then, you know, that is what it is. But you can probably afford to wait until she's in the remix pool. Okay, which, like I said, will probably be within a year or so. I think Regan is scheduled to get remixed in February or something along those lines. So we're in the right book realm. Okay, and so it's only a matter of time from there on out. Uh, Xander also exists. He does stuff, I think. Uh, Colorless. Colorless is fine. Colorless is actually the second best color on here. Uh, blue obviously being the first. I don't even know who the mythic is, and I know that blue is the best. Okay, that's just straight, straight up. <laughs> straight facts coming out of my mouth right here. Um, Colorless, aka the A team. Okay, not the B team because they're all their names start with A. It's there's a joke in there somewhere about them being the second best color, but also being the A team. Talk amongst yourselves, okay? Uh, but Arvel Ash. Elkrist. If you're trying to pick up the shiny new speed bow, okay, with a little bit of extra fodder on the side, I think Flash Sparrow uh, is what he's got to offer up. That's great. Ash is super popular, okay? Arvel's great. They're all great. Can't really go wrong there. Uh, it's going to be very account dependent, obviously. I feel like most people likely are gonna maybe try and get Alchrist, but he will also show up on uh you know remix banners uh he's gonna show up on new heroes return which is the code word for these are all gonna be ascended and rearmed heroes uh he'll show up on those too so if you really just want him uh he's going to be in other banners in the nearest future where you only have to win a one and two so that's kind of appealing, right? Uh, but outside of that, if you just don't care and you're like, yay, colorless, it's my favorite color to pull, said no one ever, uh, <laughs> but maybe you did. You know, you, you, got, you got no downsides here. I think everybody here is, is really solid. Um, Ash probably feeling a little uh, more dated than either Arvel uh, or as utility as Algrist. Okay, now as far as the mythic goes, I don't know who it is. But I would put my money that it's it uh that whatever that is uh this is some fake go looking nonsense I have no idea getting gop gop I don't know how to say the name and I hate myself for it I one day one day I'll figure it out. Today's not that day. Uh, a lot of my chat, uh, when I was live talking about, you know, upcoming stuff, um, talking about the Tempest Trials even, they had the opinion that this was going to be some rearmed hero. Bro, that is a mythic if I've ever seen one. Okay, just straight up. 
that I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, that's that is a mythic hero. All right, just that all of it mythic. All right. Uh, as far as the upcoming forecast goes, this is what it looks like, and I think it's updated. I think it's updated. Uh, we got Ike in the right spot now. I think Lynn is back uh, from whatever the heck she was doing uh, in uh, the Hall of Forms thing. Uh, Eric or Ephraim is over there somewhere in January. So I think it's up to date. I think it looks right. Okay. Uh, the benefit here. Okay, the benefit. It's still possible. It's still possible in November to have the full cycle of Golvig show up. Okay, I'm talking uh, Kevisir. I'm talking Sather. I'm talking Brave Golvig, and I'm talking Mythic Golvig. All right, your green, red, blue, colorless nonsense of all things Golvig. Uh, it's still possibly there. And those of you who are like, um, actually, they brought all the brave heroes in November for that. Do you see a spot for Soren? Do you? Do you see a spot for Soren? Uh, hello? <laughs> the doy. All right. <laughs> they can't put all the brave heroes in November. Because the spot's already full where Soren would be. So if they're going to break them up, why not take advantage and just do Goldvig month <laughs> for November? My views will shoot through the roof. Uh, no, they, I, I, I don't know what they're going to do. Okay, they may move some. We may get an update at the end or at the beginning of this banner that says Robin was moved to December. You know, that could happen. But as it stands... Uh, it doesn't look like having every brave hero in November is actually a possibility. So I think what they're actually going to do is break them up. I think it would still be so funny <laughs> if they put every iteration of Goldvig possible because November is that double mythic legendary thing month. Okay. And Gavis here. Uh, spoilers in three, two, one. She gone. Okay. <laughs> she gone. Uh, so that means right for the pickings to be right there in a banner uh and then obviously the big bad of the story is Golvig, uh who is a colorless tome that we know uh we're light on colorless as it is okay uh if they were to put core in there i don't know what they're gonna do in december <laughs> they don't really have any options and it's definitely not going to be a new legendary colorless option uh unless you know we get one of the this brings me into my next point. We are soon going to be getting Book 8's new companion legend mythic thing uh, for December. All right. So be aware. In November, we're going to have a lot of end of Book 7 stuff. In December, we're going to have that new hero show up in, as, a, as a legend or mythic or what have you. Okay. Uh, and then also something else to go alongside it, probably red or green would be my guess, which is very fitting because, you know, holiday colors. Am I right? Uh, and in January, pff, bro, I don't know what the hell they're doing in January, <laughs> but Elamine and Gato, boom, right there. It's like they made it for me alongside Micaiah. All right. Uh, so we, we love colorless in January. All right. Um, the, the notable thing there is probably Hinoka, right? But or uh, Hall of Forms Krom, which will make me hate water season all over again in ways I didn't know I could. Uh, or maybe Yune for December. Maybe they'll make legendary Ica Hall of Forms options. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, I've been saying for like a year that they were going to move Ike around to fit the Hall of Forms thing because where he was in January just didn't make any sense. And so now he's in November. I don't know what the heck he's doing there. All right. My man is just like, he's just chilling. Uh, anyway, that's your forecast. I hope that you find that helpful. Uh, if you don't care at all, this is all you have to worry about right now. If you find all of that stuff overwhelming, don't worry. This is all you have to worry about for the next like four to five weeks. Very cool. Uh, anyway, that's it. This is long. 
Probably, ee, okay, this is like 15 minutes. I'm gonna go. <laughs> if you found this helpful, like it up or share it or uh, super thank or whatever, just some kind of appreciation uh, is always nice. I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you're excited or what you're excited about or anything. And I will see you in the next one.